Officially kicked off. And the Vikings and Phil will start at the 25-yard line. This is it, Scott, and it's not just the first time we've been in Pizza Hut Stadium, but this is it. This is the start of the new season of the MCS. For all my guys that are in the chat, if you're ready for a brand new competitive Madden season, give me a one in the chat, because it's time to rock. I tell you what, Donnie Moore has no notes on these two guys, but we might have some before the day's over. As Cook gets to the edge, he'll pick up a few, second and seven. It's always interesting when you start off, Scott, with two relatively unknown players. You don't really know what to expect, but I love to see it. And we'll have plenty of time throughout the day to see some of those big names. But oh, right yeah. now, this is Phil and Tut's moment. Let's see which one of them will capitalize. Cousins in the gun. On second down, that's a tough pass. Oh, he no. throws a pick. And... King Tut Tuff says, thank you very much. Yeah, King Tut, he might be walking around the building <laughs> with those crutches, not moving around so agile, but right now looking pretty agile on the sticks. How about that for your first play on the main stage? Get yourself a little INT. Well, we talked about turnovers in the pregame show being a real factor here with that short clock. It's all about possessions, and now Deshaun Watson with the Dreaded escape artist. If you're on defense, it will hand it off. There's Johnson. Old JJ will pick up the first down and more down at the 21-yard line, just outside the red zone. That's the scary thing about this Texans team is you don't know what Deshaun is going to do with it. He goes with Duke Johnson Jr. from, you know, the U instead of Lamar Miller, but th there's Lamar out there in the backfield now. I notice you're looking deep in the roster. Hey, Duke Johnson, he was, he was a stud down at Miami. But he goes back with Lamar Miller here on the inside. Run to the 18. And how sweet is it to get that early turnover? And you know, you got possession, you got the ball, you can work the clock here in the red zone, but you need seven here. Uh, Seven's nice, Scott, but I think more importantly, you better make sure you come away with some points. You don't want to get a turnover early on and not capitalize and hand that momentum right back over. Press coverage on the outside here on second and seven at the 18-yard line. Scott Cole, RG. Love James bringing up with all kind of highlights happening from around the tournament. And here is Watson up top and nearly threw a pick to Mackenzie Alexander, who was in coverage. Not a great, not that a great That would have been a Clemson the Clemson <laughs> connection, but that's not the one you want. You would know. Big third down. Will Fuller to the right. Duke Hopkins to the left. That's the Clemson connection you want is Duke Hopkins, and that is a big time Sakaruski by Hunter, and we're looking at a 45-yarder for our opening points of the tournament. We've already had a ton of games played so far, but we are here. We're here a lot this weekend. Let me just put it that way. There's going to be a lot of games of Madden NFL 20. I'm but he got points. I'm not complaining. and that, I think that was the important part was getting points. And I'll tell you what. Touch fortunate he got points. That, that shuck into the end zone that got batted down could have easily been picked off. So both of these players have made some mistakes so far. You got to think that, that that main stage might, you know, it's going to make anybody a little nervous. Cousins oh, stretches it out to Dalvin Ooh. Cook. Dalvin! Dalvin! And he's going to take it to the crib. 40, 30, 20. Touchdown, Phil! For the first time all season long, someone gets on their horse. No jukebox necessary. And Phil answers right back. And if that's what your run game's looking like, if you're <laughs> Phil, why'd you come out slanging? 77 yard run for Dalvin Cook and Phil. If you're just joining us, these are regular teams all weekend. I know a lot of guys turn into the Madden tournaments. And we, go. we got Here goons we go. all over the place. You know, you got your Steve Youngs and your Walter Paytons, but these are the official rosters. And you take a look at it again. Hmm. Whoopsie, whoopsie. And ironically enough, 
our very own fantasy guru, James Cole, before the tournament, we were talking a little fantasy talk, and he was telling me, he's like, watch out for the Vikings run game this year. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be a problem. Well, it's not just a problem in real life as Dalvin Cook gets it going in Madden NFL football to start it off. So now 7-3, King Tut with possession, able to pick up the block this time. There's that escape artist, and Deshaun will slide down at the 34-yard line, just shy of the marker. Yeah, and that escape artist ability is a lot for anybody to deal with. It just gives your quarterback so much responsiveness and speed when they're scrambling behind the line of scrimmage. It's a complete game changer, and it's a really, really big reason why a lot of these players are using the Texans. Some point you got to watch this press coverage with Will Fuller on the outside. Good read. Goes to the New Hopkins underneath, and the former Daniel High School graduate picks up the first down. Yeah, Hopkins. I mean, he's one. I think he's the only offensive player in the '99 club this season, and he is just going to be so much to deal with. He can do it all in this game. He has that post-flag elite ability, so if you have him on a corner route or a post route, he's going to dominate. And Ooh, here he goes. It's going, going to be close. Top. And Gets it's it. picked off here by Hughes. Huey. He's got some green. Huey getting icky. Huey he's getting still icky. On his feet. What do you got, Hughes? Can he beat can the Can you keep guys? it going? Ooh. A huge return. And the plus territory will take over the 38. Who is Phil? And look at my guy Phil. He's not even blinking. He's bobbing <laughs> his head a little bit. And man, he's turned this game completely around. Here comes Cook. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness, he's out. If you don't have stretch D, it is going to be a short weekend here in Arlington. Right now, I will tell you right now, I am impressed with Phil's open work stick work. That's two runs. That's two crib shots. We saw him get nasty on that interception. And for a guy that threw an interception on his first pass play, first play of the game, boy, has he bounced back. I don't know Phil, but, I mean, he's got the polo on, top button, button. This is a business trip. <laughs> I mean, he might have a tea time later on. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's good to be back to three. With <laughs> Take a look at this Snickers replay. Intercepted. Not yourself when you're hungry. I don't mind looking for Duke Hopkins here, but come on now, double coverage? Uh, he clicked on, he got back there, and the return was the icky part of it all. I mean, he started getting all types of sticky. Yeah, I mean, if he would have taken it to the house, that might have found itself in our oh Snickers top five plays. Something you're gonna wanna watch out for the whole weekend long. Hey, 14 unanswered. After the interception, he gave up a field goal, and. Back-to-back -back scoring drives, and now King Tut Tuff's got to answer. And he'll hand it off to Lamar Miller. You just need something positive to happen. Here's the scary thing about running the ball against these Minnesota Vikings is Harrison Smith has that enforcer ability, and what that means, Scott, is he doesn't allow broken tackle hit sticks. If he touches you while you're trying to hit stick, it's going to be a successful hit stick, so... You really have to avoid him like the plague when you're on offense because he can cause some fumbles out there. Remember, regular teams, head-to-head -head play now mode, so that 40-second play clock could be a factor here in the Classic. Oh, it absolutely will be a factor. In our other game mode, salary cap, much draft, these are modes you'll see later in the MCS season. It's only a 30-second play clock, but the Madden Classic, that's another thing that makes it unique. This will be the only tournament where we are rocking a 40-second play Time clock. Time to get King Tut a cold brew yeah. because he's got to wake up. Look at that man, a Starbucks Nitro cold brew. You he know, looks so positive after that interception. You see some guys watching from the players' lounge. Mike Skimbo and crew. It's a good feeling when you've already won and you're in the players' lounge. You're like, all right, just tell me who's next. Once you, once you move on <laughs> to day two. No, no, tell me who's next now. That's what I love about this tournament, Scott. This is just our first game, you know, on day one. But as this progresses, some of the matchups we're going to see, the stakes that are going to be on the line, Oh my gosh, it's going to get intense. Well, second and nine. Nearly a minute gone by here in the second quarter. Trailing by 11. Here's the shot. 
Up top, corner out, and Fuller will drag the toes at the 27. It's a big catch right there. He hit the possession catch button. For those that don't know, you can do either do a rack catch, a possession catch, or an aggressive catch when you're near the sideline. You want a possession. To do that, you simply press the A button, get yourself a little sideline toe drag swag, and that's what we got right there from Tut. This would be a huge answer. Remember, he gets the ball at halftime here, so going to be a couple more possessions here before the half if he can strike here. Watson. He's starting to pick up the blitz now, and he's getting yards and chunks. Smart smart to get out of bounds when Harrison Smith starts coming over there. I'm telling you, Scott, that enforcer ability you talked about, you know, those arm bars and those jukeboxes, you want to talk about a real counter to those? Try to arm bar one of those guys with the, that enforcer ability. Tell me how it works out for you. Big turnover. First and 10 now in the red zone. Oh, Watson. wide open. All alone for the score. And pending the extra point, we're going to have a four-point game. Thought about going for it for a moment, but he'll take the points. A little custom celebration after the touchdown, swagging around. Shout out to our animation director, Jason Danahy, and the rest of that animation team back there at Tiburon getting all those cool celebrations in the game. They're doing their thing. So now can Phil answer with a four-point lead. Takes it out of his own end zone and a big-time hit as Moore comes knifing through. And so Phil will have to start with possession at the 14-yard line. I want to say a big hello to those out watching here on a Friday, wherever you might be. Thanks for tuning in. We got a whole lot of Madden NFL 20 coming your way here from Arlington, Texas. RG and myself on the call. We'll hear lights out and Nick coming up a little bit later. James keeping us updated with all the games going on. And then Evan is our man on the move throughout the entire tournament. I'm noticing with King Tut when he's trying to stop the run, he, he keeps getting himself picked up. Look at it. And here's Cook again out of the I formation. If you're Tut, you need to be better with your user-controlled defender. He's trying to set that edge himself with the safety, but he just keeps bumping into traffic, Scott. You need to have better stick work. Five carries for 155 yards, two scores, and we're just a quarter and a half through it. Stretches it out again, and there's finally he's ready for it. It's Clowney, former Gamecock, able to chase him down in the backfield. Need a lot more of that as we hit the two-minute warning. It is good to be back. This is pivotal if you if you can't touch, Scott. You just can't let Phil in the end zone right here. Worst-case scenario, hold him to three, make it one possession ball game. But a touchdown would be detrimental for Todd going down two possessions. Trips to the left. Here, here comes Watt. 12 and screaming in. A guy you might know, J.J. Watt. Oh my gosh, J.J. Watt, he's going to have that edge threat elite. And what that's allowed him to do is he's just got this awesome set of edge rush animations. He's going to be able to shed quicker. And there he goes right there, causing all kinds of havoc, just like he does in real life. You have to be aware of him. Timeout here, third and 20 with 150 to go here in the second quarter. That pushes him all the way back to the 45-yard line, so that takes them out of field goal range. Way out of it. See, if you feel right now, I, I want to see him double-team J.J. Watt. Remember, they added the new double-team pass block mechanic. Doesn't do it right there. Oh, good oh, click on. That's a tough pass, but Joseph carrying it like a loaf of bread, gets a block. And he will be taken down at the 48-yard line. It's another turnover. They're battling. <laughs> they battling, Scott. First time on the main stage, both of them a little nervous. I mean, how do you got to feel for that? When you're down here playing, you know, amongst the wave, and they go, yeah, you're the featured game. Can you get up there and play? And, and I'm like, not going to lie to you. When I get two guys <laughs> that I, I haven't really heard of, and if I haven't heard of you, it's not usually a good sign. You know, we've been doing this for a long time, but... 
as long as it ends up being a good game, you end up being okay with it. And so far, Tut and Phil's just given us a phenomenal game to start. Well, the thing I love about the Madden Classic, and it'd be an open tournament for, for some of us guys that, you know, have the wives and the families and the jobs. But you can say, hey, it's just one weekend. I need a can weekend. I, can I go to Dallas exactly. and play uh, some, some Madden? And, hey, here's these two guys right now. You're exactly right, Scott. That's what this tournament is for. And for those guys, you, you don't have, you know, all that time to grind the leaderboards and try to qualify for the online elimination. That's what makes the Classic so cool. You simply sign up, you get here, you show up, and you get to play for $190,000. I mean, I remember a guy spot me, please, who won the Classic. You know, he told his wife, he said, just let me go out there one more time. If it doesn't work out this time, I'm done. But he went out there and won the belt. And, and First hey, ever that Madden can happen Classic. for anybody. First ever Madden Classic winner. It could happen for anyone. Ooh, here comes Watson. And Watson will slide down. That's the key. The escape artist is so nice. But you got to make sure you get down. And we'll stop the clock with under a minute to go. Already in field goal range. It's tough. Shotgun for Deshaun. Got one timeout remaining. And he can. He's found himself down 14 to 3. He can take the lead here before the half if he can get to pay dirt. Deshaun steps, throws. Oh, and it Yikes, up by He's Trey got room. Waynes has got room. Oh, and that was a great play by Phil Scott. If he doesn't click on and make that interception, that's a completed pass. He was able to manually switch the defender, make the play himself. And that's what you got to do if you want to play Madden on this level. None of that AI interception stuff. It's user picks all day. And Phil just saves himself from letting up a big play. Gets a big turnover. Four-point lead. Two timeouts. 49 seconds to go. I don't know why he would ever throw the football. Somehow, Treadwell Moving. holds on at the 47. Moving. He's got two timeouts. He's got to watch out. That clock runoff is a lot more aggressive this year than it's been in years past. He did set it to Ooh. hurry up offense, so that lowers the, the runoff a little bit. And he will use one of those timeouts with 19 seconds to go. You are in field goal range here. This trip's tight end formation is tough. They got the inside zone. They could run the bubble screen off of the RPO. You got the four verticals. There's all types of ways you can attack the defense within that gun trips tight end. And so far, so good for Philly. 14 to 10. We're going to have some half time highlights coming up. All kind of matches going on here in Arlington, Texas. Our main man, James, has kept his eye on it. And that was a huge sack, RG. You're in field goal range with the opportunity to go up a full touchdown before the half. Okay, and what happened to the running game? Uh, not a lot of time, but I, I, I know, I'm with but you, Scott. Three Just points is three, three points. Yeah, take the three. I'm with you. I'm with Rudolph you. in motion. You need to attack the sideline right here. It's the only way you're going to be able to stop that clock and get your field goal unit out He's on the field. He's got three man deep out there, too. You're going to have some room underneath. And he can't get out of there. That should bring the half to a close. Let's check in with James Coe. What do you got for us? Thank you, Scott. Well, we got two other games going on. Two other featured matches going on right now. How about Sonnen? Look at that stiff arm. Taking it to the outside. Using those Cowboys. Pushing it to seven to three. And then a pick. Well, they call this a pick six in this business. The crazy thing is he had another pick six on the next drive, pushes a 21 to three, and this is what I'm talking about. How about this right here? The defense from Sonnen, just straight nasty. I am Cody, had a three to nothing lead, and then Sonnen, 21 unanswered. Scott, RG? That was painful, huh? See ya. See Tom Brady throw two pick sixes. But Byron Jones is a problem. The thing that to me is cool right there, for those that don't know, Sonnen is the brother of, you know, competitive Madden juggernaut Ghost, who's a former club championship belt winner. I believe he's the two-time Redskins um, 
you know, club champion, and, and he has a resume that's so he's pretty... he's got a good lab partner, is what you're telling me. Exactly. <laughs> it's super cool, though, to see Ghost get it, making a little bit of run, looking tough. I love to see it. I saw Canes. Is Suspect roaming around here, too? No, I haven't seen Suspect. All right. But, yeah, that, that we got a long way to go. I mean, there's 500-plus guys, so... It, it happens. Who knows who's roaming around? And the crazy thing is we talk about it being the largest Madden live tournament ever. That's because they capped it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, who yeah, knows what the registration would have gone to? I'll tell you what, as fast as that 512 filled up this year, yeah. imagine when they open up the registration for this in the future. It, it is just going to sell out like that, and it's just a testament to how big competitive gaming is you know, becoming, how interested all the players are, how hungry they are to be involved. And again, it's all because of you guys and your interest to help grow this sport. Ooh. Risky throw. Of course, King Tut starts with the ball here in the second half. Found himself down 14 to three after he opened the game with a field goal. He's got to figure out this press coverage. And I like this defense by Phil because it allows him to control his safety. Remember, at Madden 20, those linebackers aren't going to be able to jump for some of those aggressive picks like they used to. But if you get yourself a safety or a cornerback, they're going to have a much wider range to get aggressive and attack the ball. So I like that adjustment by Phil to be user controlling a safety instead of a linebacker. We've seen him take bar every now and then. But if I'm him, I'm really doing what I can to try to control safety. Oh, he got quick hikes, caught on his DT. And he will Harrison. throw it, and that's dangerous. You have to avoid it, number 22 on the Vikings. At all costs. You don't, he, I mean, to me, he has one of the best combinations of abilities when you have zoned out and enforcer. And that was a tough one. Kendrick's almost got there. But it will be third and inches after the reception. I feel like Harrison Smith, Scott, he's like the best of both worlds. He's going to be elite in pass coverage, but also punch you in the mouth in the run game. Does he sell out on the run here? Plenty of time. That's good defense. That's good defense. What defense on that corner out? You know, he had B coming up underneath before he made the initial move. That's got to be a quick throw, but he's going to go for it because... Hey, it's mad. If the thing, if you're going to pass on third and inches, and I'm all about it, second and inches, third and inches, it's a good time to try to get a big chunk, everybody sink and run. But you better have your inches play on point. What's well, the first time he's going to be in the goal line formation here? He set some audibles. Let's see what he does coming to the line here. Fourth and inches. This is a huge play. Can he hold the door? Is Phil a Hodor or not? And we got a what? flag here. You can't do that. Wow. What's going on? It's going to back him up. Scott Cole and RG here with Whoa. you. You can see the big stage behind us here in Arlington. And uh, my man RG is now in a middle pretzel after that flag. What are you doing? What is you doing, baby? <laughs> I mean, geez. We had third and inches, and now all of a sudden we're... I don't like it, Tut. Going for it anyway. Watson steps, fires, throws, nuke. Yep. And way to bounce back if you're Tut. And I'll tell you what, Scott, Hopkins having that uh, post flag elite ability, anytime you get him running a corner route, not only will he be able to win on the cut if it's man coverage, if he gets his hands on it, he's, he's more than yeah. likely to hold on to that ball. So great way to utilize those abilities and play to Hopkins' and strengths. And Fuller. I was playing online against, you know, I'll just say one of the goons that are here, one of the 500. And he sent me a message and he's like, hey, I love the broadcasting. You're not using your abilities right. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Let me give you a few tips. Uh, and after that, you know, you have to start winning some games. For those abilities. Oh my, here's the thing that, 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 that's really sticking out to me is my guy Phil, man, he's clicking on, dude. He, it's not that like bootleg old man click on as if I was clicking on. Like when that ball's in the air, he's pressing B, switching to that other defender and trying to make a user play. That's a good sign. 
if you're trying to play on a high level. Four point game, third and three. Here's a little pressure. Good and job. Nuke on a little baby post will take it all the way down to the eight. And like I told you, if he runs a post or a corner route, Scott, he's going to win on that cut. You saw man-to-man -man coverage, and if he's going to run a post against man-to-man, -man, he's going to roast that almost every well, he'd time. He's been running that route. The only issue was Harrison Smith had been sitting there. He brings a little pressure with Smith, and he throws it. Nice read. Second and goal now at the six. Good read by Todd. This game just going back and forth, back and forth. No one wants to run away with the momentum. Watson. Has time, finds a man, and it's Duke Hopkins for the score. There's that Clemson to Clemson connection. That was a nice dot right there by King Todd. I thought he was gonna throw that drive away after he took a delay a game on fourth <laughs> and inches. And you're thinking it's amateur hour, and he We've gets had right two back to it. 14 to nothing runs in this game. Remember, it's three nothing. Phil came out, scored two touchdowns. There, here he comes. King Tut all the way back. We'll find afterwards what he actually wants to be called. He, he probably comes up like, hey, everybody calls me tough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Sorry, Tut. Hey, we had to learn with Pavin. Yeah. You want people to really say your name right, this is how you do it. You get on the sticks, you ball out. And you'll tell, you can tell us. To they talk you about putting you respect want. on a name, but you got to start putting pronunciation on a name first. <laughs> First and 10. See how Phil answers here. And our opening game of the broadcast. Well, what do you guys, I don't know who I got right now. He needs to stop throwing it. What are you guys thinking in the chat? Give me a one for Phil. Is he gonna come back and pull away with this? Or is Tut gonna hold on? Give me a two. Let me see where you guys' are, heads are at. I gotta jump out there. And you know, every time I ask you to put a one or a two in there, I go back and watch the broadcast. Scott. I'm looking right now. I go and see where there's they, where a lot of twos at. out there. I see some ones in they're, there as well. And Tut. And Ooh, that's icky. We'll pick up the first down out at the 38 yard line. He's only thrown it six times. And he's like, some picks as well. I like Tut using his quick adjustments on defense. That's a good sign. Cousins. Nope. Good pick by Tut. And Joseph with another INT. It's become a turnover fest. You can get your T-shirt in the lobby. <laughs> right there for, for me, Scott, the problem if you fill is Kirk Cousins doesn't have the best throw animations in this game. So you let that route, he threw it a little bit late, gets Way one late. of those long wind-up animations, and that's just going to allow that ball to sit in the air for way too long and give Tut the opportunity to click on and make the pick. Here's an early timeout. It's questionable. Where are you at, Phil? It's the third quarter with 14 seconds to go. Mental pretzel. Where are you at, Phil? Second and 10. He's user controlling Anthony Barr back on Barr instead of the safety. Six, five. It's not Mutt, but he's a legend when it comes to Madden. And there's Johnson will pick up the first down. And that looks like it'll be the final play here of the third. So let's check in with James. Tell me what's going on with some serious. Some serious doing work right now, and it is his two staples. It is the run game, and it is the defense. How about this pick right here? And then he's going to – look at that juke. He can't go all the way, can he? He can't go all the way, but he does. Pushes that lead out 10 to 3. And then more defense. Here's Duke Hopkins. Well, I said the defense, but well, it made I'm it 10-7. That's, that's Duke Hopkins right there. Here's some serious again. Lobbing one deep down the side. And that's going to be a problem, ladies and gentlemen, both in Madden and in real life. And then Damian Williams will punch it in. That forced the score 24-7. to And the defense is the real deal right now for some serious. He has... Five sacks in the first half. He's got a couple of picks, and he is all business all the time right now. All right. Scott, RG, take it away. 
You're not supposed to root for anybody, but for some reason, some serious. I know he's a Titans guy. Maybe that's the reason I root for him. I mean, he, he captured our hearts last year. He, I mean, won that Titans club championship. Nobody knew who he was. He made a run in that club championship, a deep run, had one of the best games we saw all year against Joe Rice, and then went on to win the last chance qualifier. And I'll tell you what, if he's playing with the Kansas City Chiefs, look out, because he's known as a defensive yeah. specialist. So he's going to now have a high-powered offense, and if he can call That's a good scary. defensive game with them, that could be a lot for players to deal with. Love watching me some some serious on the sticks. Well, we got 17 to 14 as we move with four minutes remaining here between King Tut and Phil. Third and five. The shot sitting in the pocket, looking, looking, and he'll just pick up the first down. He thought about A. A was going right up the middle of the field. A got open, but in order to make that throw, you really needed to be able to put the mustard on it. He felt the pressure, holds back, and then uses that escape artist to pick up the first down. It's a mature play right there by Tut. I think he might have needed Bazooka at that point to make that throw. That was way out there. Oh, here's Lamar. Lamar gets to the edge. First down and more. And he he's may outie. go all the way. Touchdown, King Tut. The Pharaoh. This is to put him up 10. How this game has changed, 21 unanswered. That's tough. That's King Tut tough. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. And here comes. Abdullah out of his own end zone and Moore once again with the hit. Remember that 14 points came quick. I mean, it was guys on the move, but here is King Tough once again, this time getting done on the ground. Yeah, a little swervy, and then he's out. And this is what we talked about earlier. It's just harder to make those tackles in the open field. Your stick work really needs to be on point. Phil not able to stop him, and now Phil gets himself in pretty much what I He was I'd in control of this game. Yeah. It was 14 to 3. Every running play was working. Working. And he got away from it. He's like, I'm going to start slinging it. Got himself in trouble, and now I feel like he's in a do or die situation for this game. He, he needs to go down and get himself some points here, or it's going to be over. Cousins with a quick throw. There's Rudolph. That was a good throw. Watt was right in his face. It's okay to get three on this drive. Cousins. Oh, Remember, he was in field goal range right before the half. Could have had that three points. Yeah. It would be a touchdown game right now. That's a good point, Scott. That's a good point. And, and right now, he's not doing himself any favors. He's sending a lot of his route combinations towards the middle of the field. It's causing a little too much traffic. And, and you have Adam Thielen, you get him in the slot, he's got that route apprentice ability. You can hot route him to a post, a corner. We're just, we're just not seeing Phil utilize him too well right now. Cousins. There he is. Quick throw right up the seam and he'll drop it. I think he needed the possession catch that one, Scott. He got a little greedy, tried to catch it in stride. He just needed to hit that A button. If you possession catch with your guy Thielen, he, he's more than likely going to hold on to it. Empty set once again. Thielen in motion. Hey, we're good, we're good. Cousins. Nice and what a pass to Diggs. There you Just go. shy of midfield. Here comes up fourth in the game. That's what I was looking for from Phil. You got a post route going over the middle. You got the corner going to the outside, a check down underneath. Spre spread the routes out a little bit. Especially with King Tux. He's sort of in a bend on break here. Got to watch J.J. Watt. Quick throw. Good play. And that'll move the sticks. Remember that early timeout he used, too? That becomes a factor. In the third quarter, I, I didn't understand that one. Maybe he does have a tee time. He's trying to get out of here. Oh, that's picked. That might be GG's. That's picked. I, I, I Three think picks by Joseph alone. What it is, is you get used to being able to throw these passes 
And maybe against lesser competition, you get away with that. But here at the Madden Classic, you're going up against guys that aren't afraid to click on and make that play. So what might be open against your brother or your nephew or, or your random buddy that, that, that you play, it's probably not going to be open here at the Classic. Well, when that these guys pressure came there. early, you know, he had to keep a man in the block. And so you got nobody on that side to occupy the cloud. And he's just throwing picks all day long on that corner route. Miller. This one's in the fridge. Uh, if you're Phil, you need to take this as a learning experience. You showed some glimpses of good stuff, some really good stick work. Yeah, you had some good click on interceptions, but uh, definitely some mental mistakes for him to clean up. But this is what we talked about, the double elimination, Scott. You're able to take that learning experience and try to do something about it quickly. High formation, goal line set. And he just needs one more play. Remember, 40 second play clock. We talked about that early in this ball game and there's the factor right there. GG's in the chat. King Tut Tough. Gonna be moving on. I don't know if he thought he'd be playing on the main stage when he registered, but he got it done. Beautiful thing about this now, Scott, is I will remember the name. He's texting King somebody. Tough. He is texting somebody right now. Like, yeah, 